Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge faced by developers working with Makefiles and Yarn. Our viewer asks, how can I prevent Yarn install from running twice in my Makefile? Let's break it down. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To prevent yarn install from running twice in your make file, we need to carefully structure our rules. Let's start by understanding the current setup. The first step is to check if yarn.lock exists. If it does, we can safely run yarn install for node modules. If it doesn't, we need to handle that case separately. Next, if yarn lock is missing, we should still ensure that node modules is created without running yarn install unnecessarily. We can achieve this by using touch. Now we need to ensure that when yarn lock is created from package.json, we run yarn install only if necessary. This prevents redundant installations. Finally, let's summarize the complete makefile structure to ensure it works as intended without running yarn install twice. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To prevent yarn install from running twice in a makefile, you can use a clever approach. First, define your source and distribution files and ensure you have a clean structure with .phony targets. Add a rule for yarn.lock that updates its modification time based on node modules or package JSON. This ensures yarn lock stays current even if no changes occur. The check files option in yarn install checks for missing packages without deep searching, which is useful for maintaining package integrity. Finally, this setup allows you to recompile only changed source files, making it efficient. Just run make in a fresh project to update everything. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.